All right, so we're back out one more time. See if we can break, uh, break my PB of 63. So track, start right there. <clears throat> Supersonic 48. Nice day. I wish there was a little bit of ripple. Oh well. Lighty. Before I turn around and go back out, I just had to do a quick rudder adjustment. Honestly, let's see what that was. She got flighty. Stop. 64, dang. Track, start. 64 though, still damn good. Okay. All right, so 64, come on, baby. I got one extra, 63, 64. <clears throat> come on, baby. Ah, 62, yep, yeah. so basically, the batteries are weaker now. There's a lot of juice it takes to move a boat this size. All right, so 64. That's not bad at all, honestly. Batteries, 90, 90, ESC, 84, motor, 112, 115, 91, wires, 85. We got more. Yeah. It's 110 on the motor, guys. 120, actually. Yeah, 120. So, you know, 120 is not bad. Like, I can technically keep on going with this setup. Everything's nice and cool. Cool. Well, it's 64, new PB at least. That's one mile an hour, that counts. Sweet. All right. So we're back here at the computer pulling the data from the 64 mile an hour run just to analyze it from last run to today's run from 63 to 60, 64. So, you know, I got the boat, it's all plugged in, ready to go. <clears throat> so the upper one is from yesterday, uh, from yesterday's run or the 60 mile, 63 miles an hour. Or no, top, sorry. The top one is for the today's run at 64. The bottom one's at 63. 
So, you know, this is where I'm just kind of slowly analyzing it and going through it. So basically, you know, voltage 33.6, so 8S. You know, my ripple is 0.49, which is not bad. It's actually really good. Um, you know, you don't want to ripple up more than like, what is it, 10, 15% of what the battery voltage is. So in a sense, if, you know, I'm, you know, running 8S, so that would be, you know, 3.3 of a, a ripple. So, um, but, so I added a capacitor pack to help kind of smooth out the battery flow, help with the dips and stuff like that. So smooth it out. So anyway, so with that current setup, I'm running, you know, 208 um, amps down there at 62,086 watts. So, and at, you know, it did peak at 23,000. Now, analyzing that a little bit more, let's go into it. So, you know, right here, so on the very first part of that clip, you know, the boat came out of the water and jumped. So this is my first run right here. RPM came up and then it jumped. So of course, you know, I'm going to peak right there. So technically, so if I put the, try to get the cursor there. So maybe we'll just scroll into that little peak. So it's roughly about 21,658. So almost 22,000 is peaking. So again, you know, I can play with the propeller a little bit more, maybe modify it to get a little bit more RPM out of it. Um, so I'm so close to that 65 mark. That's kind of what been my personal best kind of goal I'm after or just slightly over. So, you know, so looking at the amperage, the amperage still go more, the uh, motor temperatures are still looking good. Um, so session there and we'll just make sure 954 four pull so yep so basically this is from you know the very first speed run 64 when i went back out and which i was doing 62 because of the battery voltage now it's starting to come down as you start seeing and then you know i did after that to kill my batteries a little bit farther down i did another five more laps um you know and so just kind of doing some ovals and stuff like that kind of seeing how it would work kind of on an oval setup so, but, you know, for, you know, RPMs, you know, almost 22,000, that's not bad at all. You know, the first, you know, blip course, you know, the voltage higher, and then of course, you know, farther down as voltage go, you know, voltage goes a little bit less and less, but, you know, not bad. Amperage, 208 amps. So again, you know, that's kind of nothing for the ESC. So not bad. So basically, you know, since I can prop up more, um, and then, you know, kind of see how the motor kind of likes it from there. So anyway, so data off that kind of run. See, this is the stuff that I like, you know, looking at, analyzing numbers and trying to use that. So because then I can come back, take that number, you know, compare it to my bottom numbers. You know, this is 63 miles an hour and, you know, close on the amperage and then um, spun a little bit more RPM. Uh, 23. And so, and then kind of compare it because this is also a good way to compare it if you're compare it, you know, back and forth in graphs, so like that. So, like, you know, 21, 529, you know, I got a little bit more RPM out of it. Not much, but it was enough for that one. And that's all, you know, that one just counts. So, you know, I'll go back and forth and compare it like that. And then I will, you know, I got this little calculator right here where I can add all the information to you know propeller size um, what i'm kind of running cells and stuff like that and go for it so so then i can kind of change it something like this you know i can you know modify it push put in some different numbers you know 1.8 um stuff like that kind of help kind of spit out a general it's not always 100 percent perfect but, you know, basically the same idea as going to offshore electrics and using their calculator to help kind of, you know, determine speed. So a lot of times I'll kind of enter some information here, um, you know, what you know, I'm kind of looking for. So basically if I want, you know, try to get the thing to do, let's say 60 miles an hour. So let's say, you know, 2.1 and then, you know, 1.5, you know, 58 from there is kind of what it's saying. And so depending on what, 
um, how, you know, basically monos, you know, you got some, what I call efficiency loss, you got haul drag. And usually it's anywhere from 20 to 25% how wet or dry that um, boat is running. So, you know, the more wet it is, the more haul drag that's going to be. And then on top of that, then you have what's known as, you know, motor efficiency or, um, you know, so basically most motors, you know, are between an 80, 90% efficiency. So basically, you know, I work on a, you know, a percentage that's loss. So, you know, so basically, you know, what I'll do is I'll do kind of a, I'll run, get my data, you know, I get my speed and then I'll come back, enter it in here and try to get a lot of this kind of work close to what, you know, kind of says. So basically, you know, from Big B, you know, I was kind of using his reference as, you know, his propeller as a um, 2115 ABC, 21, 2.1 by 15 and using those numbers um, to try to kind of gauge, you know, how his boat was kind of running. So, you know, this is saying, you know, 58 miles an hour right here projected is kind of the general idea. So then, you know, kind of get them up there. So basically, like his boat was out of the water a lot. Um, he was running some really good batteries. Um, <coughs> and so, and I th and think pretty light too as well. So in a sense, you know, he got there. So it kind of gets me in a ballpark, gives me a general idea. But some of the things, you know, you know, some of the data and the numbers I like to run, I'm a numbers person and it helps me tune a boat and, you know, kind of, you know, push, see what I can. You know, it's not always correct with the calculator I use. It sometimes just kind of gets me in a general ball game, you know, ballpark of an idea. And, it's, and then until I can get it on the water, that's where I can kind of do a lot of my testing and figure things out. So anyways, so, you know, so I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get another propeller um, to try one more time, see if I can crack that 65. Um, that's kind of the main goal. But right now, so far, the fastest propeller is the Dash Boda. Um, you know, basically go visit him. He has that 65 mile an hour prop that works for the stock system. Um, you know, the ones I've been running are right up in there. And, but, you know, it's pushing the amperage of what the 160 is capable of. But, you know, many different ways and no boat is exactly the same. So, anyway, so thanks for watching uh, Mad Lizard RC. Please like and subscribe. Um, keep the videos going. It's very helpful.